today I will be showing you how to start your realistic self-portrait. You will be taking a photo using Photo Booth or selecting a picture from your phone to use as a reference image for your self-portrait. You will be taking a well-lit, non-blurry image. We want to make sure that our image is taken from the shoulders up because we will be doing a self-portrait. We really want our facial features to be the main focus of our image. So you will save this image to your computer if you are taking it from a photo booth. So for example, if you hit command spacebar, it will pop up the spotlight search bar. You can type in photo booth. and hit enter. You will take your picture and then you will drag that picture to your desktop and that will save my image. Once I have my image saved to my computer, it says I need to open Illustrator and change my workspace to Essentials Classic. It might take a minute for my Illustrator to load. So I actually cannot change my workspace quite yet, so I'll do that in a minute. It says I need to click open to find my selfie and I will open that in Illustrator. So I will hit the open button in Illustrator. Then I will find the picture that I want to use on my desktop and then I will hit open. My image is very large and it does not cover my artboard. I need to shrink that down without stretching or squishing my face. So I am going to go to the selection tool and I am going to go to the corner where it has these two arrows popping up. I am going to hold shift and alt at the same time. Then I am going to click and drag this down to size. Notice how I clicked and drag it to where it was in line with my artboard. That is perfect. Now I need to make sure my workspace is set to Essentials Classic. So I'm going to go up here next to the search bar. If yours is on Essentials, you need to change it to Essentials Classic. The next step says create a new layer. In order to create a new layer, I have to make sure my layers panel is open. So if I go to Window, I'm going to go all the way down to Layers and make sure that is open and available. It looks like this. Now I can create a new layer by pressing this button right here. If you hover over it, it says create new layer. I want to make sure that my layer is above my base layer. So I'm actually going to go in and put this as base layer and I'm going to lock that layer. I do not want to be able to draw on my base layer. Then I'm going to click on this and rename it Face Shape. So I am going to start with the pen tool because I think that is easiest. And I am going to go around my face shape. I am going to go a little bit under my hairline because I don't want to leave any spaces in between. So I'm going to zoom in and start using that pen tool 
to go around my face shape. If you would like to use any of the other tools, you may do that as well. Now since my hair is covering it up over here, I can kind of just circle that out. Remember to change my color, I can open my swatches panel. To do that, you can go to Window and go down to Swatches. For this to change the color, we are going to go to our eyedropper tool. I'm first going to change my um, stroke to a color. I'm going to change my stroke to a color, that way I don't lose that line. And then I'm going to go to my eyedropper tool. I'm going to make sure my fill button is clicked first, then go to my eyedropper tool. And I'm going to click a spot on my face, and that eyedropper tool will fill my shape. So you might have to click around to find that perfect color. And you can actually come in here. and create a new swatch for your color palette. To create a new swatch, you will click up here on the upper fill button, and you will hit new swatch. You can change this color a little bit, but I think that I'm gonna leave mine the way it is. Then I will name this face color, and then hit okay. That way my face color is saved in my swatches area and if I need to go back and add in more of that color, I can at a separate time. The next thing we're going to do is hide our head layer. So opening my layers back up, I'm going to hide that face shape and then I'm going to hit create new layer. My new layer will go on top of my face shape. So if I draw something and change the color, it will be on top of my head layer. I don't want to draw that though. The reason that we are hiding our head layer is because we will slowly start to build in our noses, our eyes, and our mouths. The next one that we want to do is our mouth. So we are going to label this mouth. Then you will take your tools to begin drawing that mouth. I would zoom in on my mouth and then begin to draw that. You guys will be making a new layer for each aspect of your face, just to be sure that you are doing it correctly. If I accidentally make a shape, so if I started to draw my mouth on my face shape, first of all, I, I can't really see my mouth right now. Let's just say, oops, oh no. I can actually select this, come up to this selected artwork, and drag that box up to the mouth, and then it will be on the mouth layer.